Hello folks and welcome back to another edition of Mighty Nine Mod Drops. As you might have guessed, I got a mod to drop on you guys. Now this one has been percolating for a while like slow cooked sausage. <laughs> I said sausage. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. Oh, okay, Codsworth. I didn't know if you were here or not. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> well, good. Damn it. Roll that intro. Out to serve, sir. Park the car in the yard. How about I hammer you in the heart with a haymaker? Okay, like I said at the start, I've been holding on to this, uh, you know, that thing, the thing you download. Dear God, this isn't happening. I'm having another Joe Biden moment. Isn't happening? What are you talking about? You know, you got a smart mouth, Codsworth. Now go make me a sandwich before I disassemble you and sell you for toaster parts. Okay, like I was saying before I, my thought train got interrupted, I've been holding on to this mod and it's current perfected for, for quite some time as I wanted to make sure everything worked properly for you guys. I think I got it all straight now though. So what do you need to do to find Holden Hills? Well, first, what you do is you head into Fort Hagen. Of course, you are probably going to run into some bad guys, which you should take pleasure in filling so full of lead that they can write their wills with their fingers. Then from the red rocket, head west through town. You're probably going to see some bad puppies here if you're lucky. If you're not, it might be something a bit more dangerous. I guess it depends on what mods you're using for random encounters. Continuing on, you will come to the radio relay tower. Pay attention to your surroundings here, guys, because there is a random encounter trigger around the area of the destroyed tank. You might see anything here, including a death claw, but you're not afraid, right? You're on a mission. Mission. The map marker for Holden Hill should be should soon appear on your compass. Just continue heading west until you discover it. Okay, checking out the settlement, we see there is a semi-trailer that's locked, which requires a key to open. Peeking into the shack, after passing an armor workbench, we see a power armor workstation, workshop workbench, and a large fusion generator. A patio on the table on the other end of the platform contains a cooler, some empty beer bottles, and the bones of the previous owner. The RV is locked with an advanced lock, so bring your lock-picking A-game. Inside the trailer, there's a computer terminal with a bottle of Nuka-Cola Sunrise and some magazines that you can't take. I didn't see the sense in giving away magazines you can find in the world, guys. On the dresser, you will find Harry's key. You should probably go ahead and pick these up. There's a single military cot and Harry's war chest, which is full of leveled goodies for you. There's a working cook stove and a refrigerator. Head outside and you will find that you now have the keys to open the semi-trailer. Inside you will find a weapons workbench, a chem lab, and a full set of T-60 power armor with a full fusion core. Hop in that bad motherfucker and head back to the power armor workstation. Once you got it set up on the workstation, head back inside and go to the terminal. This terminal is very interesting. It is, of course, non-scrappable because you don't really want to scrap it. In the overview section, it describes what is on the terminal. 
There's a section entitled Bank Account that dispenses 500 caps each time you use it. Read the further entries on the term terminal to learn the backstory of Holden Hills and how it came to be here. Finally, click on the entry entitled Vault Tech Commando Paint and the terminal will allow you to access a new power armor paint for the T-60 power armor. Oh wait, we got a full set of T-60 power armor all set up on the workstation, don't we? Head back out to the power armor workstation and get to work, kids. Depending on your perks, you can modify your power armor the way you want it. The power armor paint is exactly where you'd expect to find it, and if you apply it to all the pieces of the power armor, it will make this power armor quite formidable. As it is developed by vault -Tec in conjunction with U.S. military and incorporates Stealth Boy technology via nano robots. You might notice here that I am able to apply three different kinds of weave to my power armor. Yes, three different kinds. That particular trick is not included in this mod, however, but will be part of an upcoming mod that I am fixing to release not too far in the future, so stay tuned for that. Now I had to have my dude catch some shut-eye so I could be up bright and early to show you the rest of the settlement. Going over to my mini workbench here, we opened it up to find the build budget is absolute zero. And it will stay that way, but not because of this mod. Go pick up my mod, MCS Workshop for PC and Xbox to enable that feature. Taking a look around outside, we see that Holden Hills isn't a very large settlement at all. It literally is just the size of one cell. I wanted to make it larger, but decided against it because adding the surrounding cells would have broke the random encounter zone by the tank and the raider spawn further down the hill. Now, if you don't mind the trees, logs, vi and vines clutter, you can just choose to leave those where they are or scrap individual items to make way for your own construction. Or you can head back up into the workshop shack and scrap the Wand the Gardner, Gardner Handy Bot model. Not only does this clear the entire cell of trees and vines and the like, but it also cleans up the trash and removes the grime and vines off of the trailer trailers and shacks giving you a nice clean slate to build on i'll be leaving the scrapping of the bones of harry holden up to you but if you don't the settlers will sit on him i also purposely left the fence but it is scrappable if you want to remove it that's it for this video guys i realized that i forgot to show you the power on paint and the good light so i recorded this piece to end this video with to show off this paint this mod will be available for PC exclusively on Shaken Mods and for the Xbox. Remember guys, if you want to support the channel, the easiest way short of a direct sponsorship is to like, share, and comment on this video. If you want to do a direct sponsorship, please consider clicking on the join button to become a channel member or use the Ko-Fi link in the description to sponsor the channel that way. Until next time guys, keep your powder dry, shoot straight rookie, and remember... War. War never changes.